15 years ago, I started building my first guitar, not really knowing how much of an impact that was going to have on my life and the doors it was going to open for me. Through it, I've met most of my really close friends, and I was able to meet a lot of people who I genuinely consider to be heroes of mine. When I first started building, it was very much an escape, something that I could pour myself into, and something that made sense to me at a time when the world didn't. After that, it, it became a passion, something that I took a lot of pride in, something that I, I based my identity in. And then I was very fortunate that that turned into a career, something that I was actually able to support myself with financially. Recent years, it's become a job, something that I had to struggle at just to survive. And every build brought stress and anxiety, and I was stretched very thin trying to keep all these different plates spinning. I was frustrated. I thought I was doing everything right. I was checking all the boxes that a small business should check, and I was trying to run a business with integrity, but I never really got the traction that I wanted, and I never, the business never, got to the point that I thought it would get to, and I felt stuck in this loop of just building to survive. And then COVID happened. And I don't blame COVID for this decision, but it was eye-opening in showing me that this business model for me was not sustainable. And the idea of a captain going down with his ship was just damaging to myself. So this is difficult to say out loud, but I'm putting an end to jeweler guitars, at least for the foreseeable future. I can see myself coming back to it one day, but the truth is, at some point, I lost the joy in it. And I need to rediscover that if I'm ever going to come back to it and, and be able to make something that I really believe in again. I'm so thankful for everyone who supported me for the past 15 years. My friends and family who have seldom questioned the idea that I'm trying to build something bigger than myself. Um, Mr. Walsh, my high school woodshop teacher, who saw something in me that every other educator seemed to have missed. Um, ben and the rest have said the whale, uh, who kind of gave me my first big break before anyone else would, and brought me along in that journey for, for the past 10 years. Anyone who's helped me with videos or promotion, have come to a house show, have used my guitar on stage, have bought a t-shirt or brought me into a green room, that, that stuff was so important and it doesn't go unnoticed. And I wouldn't be sitting here with the success that I've had without all that support. So thank you so much. So that's it. I'm no longer going to be building customs or doing repairs and setups. I have a couple final guitars that I'm going to finish up. And then everything that I have is going to be put up for sale, $2,000 flat, just to try to recoup some of those costs that I put into each build. And instead of selling all the parts individually, it just made sense to me to get these guitars into the hands of people who are going to use them, because that was always the point. I love you all. Thank you for being part of this awesome 15-year-long journey, and I am genuinely excited for whatever happens next.